Hey there everyone, it is Sandwich Boy back here with another video. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am Sandwich Boy and I play games. I make various videos, whether it's Arkham, Souls game, The Witcher, gaming and content in general, Batman videos. Uh, I also do Let's Plays. Uh, I from time to time stream on the channel. And right now we are playing through Marvel Spider-Man 2. Uh, the Metal Gear Solid Collection, uh, we are playing Metal Gear Solid 1, we are also playing Arkham Asylum, those are all on the channel, or will be on the channel uh, shortly, so when this video might get uploaded, those will all be there for you, and they will be in the description, so if you like what you see, check out my other videos, but today I am here to ask one of the life's greatest questions. Which Backclaw in the Arkham series is the best? If you haven't been asking yourself this, then you have been living your life wrong. But I am here to answer that question. Now, you may be wondering, why am I making a video on this? Why the Backclaw Slam? Why am I ranking the Backclaw Slam in the series to see which one is the best, and which one is not as good, and which one is decent? Uh why this of all things to rank when there is so many other things to rank in the series to where i could look at so many other things in the arkham series between the games whether it is the combat the stealth or whatever it is and here's my answer why the fuck not it's my channel and it's the backclaw slam the backclaw is life so, I'm sorry if you don't understand why I am ranking the backlog. And the second reason why I am making this video, if you don't know, my most popular video is the backlog slam. It was my first video to ever upload. And I hate the fact it's so popular. I fucking hate this video that has over 5,000 views. Now, in spite of it, I am trying to make a more popular Backclaw Slam video, one that I will not hate, one that I am making on purpose, and it wasn't a joke. Like, that first video I uploaded, it was a joke. It was a joke of a video that I did of a whim at the time, and it is my most popular video, and I fucking hate it. Now, let's get into the ranking of the different Backclaws in the Arkham games. I'll be ranking these solely based on these three things. From the worst to the best. So, which one is the worst? That, ju that just does so terribly. Which one is the best? That is the best overall. Then, where is that in between? Where it is relatively decent. It is pretty good. But it did not reach to the levels of this is absolute dog shit or this is the best one overall, hands down. Number two, how well does each one do in their perspective game? So this one is really going to come down to gameplay, how well it really feels and is easily achieved to do the backlog slam. Is it a bit more difficult or slow or... It is somewhat very difficult to pull this off. Then number three, if that game did anything different with their backclaw. So if they added something to it or did something a bit more interesting with it. Number four, it's the fourth one. Now for the worst of the worst on this list. One that is so abysmal and dog shit. And that is Arkham Origins Blackgate. Now, originally, this one isn't, wasn't supposed to be on here, but I added it on, and I tried Blackgate out. And so, first off, you only have the grapple and the battering, and you have to actually get the Backclaw upgrade. You have to find it in the game, and then you are able to use the Backclaw but it gets worse. You're not even able to backlaw slam anyone. The only thing you can do is pull vents and grates off. And that is it. You are not even able to backlaw slam. 
My disappointment is immeasurable. My day was ruined by this when playing that today. It is so dog shit that it can't even be placed above Asylum. Number three is the third one. Arkham Asylum's backclaw is not bad. It's not the dog shit abysmal worst of the worst that uh, Blackgate is. But it is also the very first game in the series, so it could not benefit from the improvements that the other games were able to benefit from Asylum. So doing with uh, how Asylum is, it is the very first game. But it's pretty decent. It's not pretty good or the best. But it's not the worst either. Uh, but with Asylum, it is a, a little difficult to pull off the backclaw slam. If someone is coming up to you, you have to counter them. But sometimes you even can't because they are coming up to you too fast. So it is a bit tricky to pull off. You cannot pull it off as easily as the other games. But it did something a bit different that I wish that carried over to the other games, which is the Ultra Backclaw, where it, you were able to pull uh, weak walls down. So that is something very interesting that Asylums did, that the others didn't do something that I wish that carried over an upgrade that you could pick up or an upgrade you could acquire in the other games. But for its time and for it, it does pretty good. Number two, it's the second one almost there. Backclaw for life. Unlike the last two, this one is a bit different. We are grouping Origins and City together. They are both the same. They both do the same exact things. They do not differ from each other at all. Even if we wanted to place one in this spot and the other in the next spot, it makes no difference at all. They have no difference with them at all. Now, unlike the past two, Origins and City has improved upon from Asylum. Unfortunately, the Ultra Backclaw did not carry over from either of these. But what they did gain is you could fire off the Backclaw very easily, very efficiently. You could perform the Backclaw Slam with ease. There is know this you gotta wait a little bit or counter and you could even get out of countering enemies if you were able to press strike very fast and you were able to zip over to that enemy and hit them however i would like to add that it is not perfect you can still get hit when you're trying to perform the backclaw slam or having to press counter so there is still that timing aspect to it if you're trying to get out of there from getting hit and back close some an enemy so there is that aspect to it so it is not perfect but you can still do it and it is so much fun when you do are a when you are able to pull it off Hey there everyone, it's Sandwich Boy from the future. While I was editing, I had noticed I did not mention this. This wasn't in the script. I had totally forgotten about it. And that is the Zip Kick, a back claw like quick fire gadget that you can use only as Robin. Now this was only in City and Night. Uh, it was not in Origins, but this was a unique gadget only Robin could use. And essentially what it was, it was the grapple gun that they all, all the Bat family uses. But instead of a Bat Claw slam, it was a zip kick. So you would zip over them and kick them and they would fall over. And it was something unique that they added 
to this game that the other games did not have. Something that carried over into the future games. Into the future game, Night. Number one, and it is the best one and the last one. Now, looking back at the rest, where we went from the worst of the worst, complete abysmal, other dog shit of no bat cause slam, to Asylum, where it was first introduced, where the series first started, but a bat claw that had not been perfected. It was just the start of the series. Then to City and Origins, to where you could skip out countering enemies if you were able to quickly enough press strike to initiate the backlog slam after you quick fire. And now we are here at the pinnacle peak of Backclaw, baby. The best of the best. Arkham Knight. To where even in City and Origins, you mostly couldn't get out of countering. You had to be really fast. But with Arkham Knight, baby, you just had to get that Backclaw out and hit strike. And you were able to get out. From getting hit, keeping up that combo. The level of combos and just ridiculousness that you can achieve by spamming the Backclaw. And that is why Arkham Knight is the peak of Backclaw. It is the very best. If you don't believe me, look at the game footage I am showing you. You can just backclaw, slam anyone. You can spam it till you lose your combo. And you know what this game does? You have the super backclaw slam to where you could take out a giant thug-like enemy with the backclaw. This is the power of the backclaw. All right, now that concludes my ranking of the Backclaw Slam in the Arkham games. This was a lot of fun to make. I know this was more of a silly joke video, but I need you all to know this. The Backclaw Slam is a very serious matter on the Sandwich Boy channel. It is something that you should not take lightly. It is a very serious topic. I did not choose the Backclaw Life. The Backclaw Life chose me. Hey there everyone, it is Sandwich Boy. Uh, I am here editing. This is almost done. This was this was one hell of a video to make. I don't know why I thought this was I don't know why this was way more work than it should have been. I just have so many clips and it just came down to I was stumbling over my words and it just came down to all right, I got I did my intro cut. All right, now we're going to do this, cut, then this, cut, then splitting the four sections of the ranking, cut, then the outro, cut. And so this was just one hell of a video to make. I don't know why this was such a struggle, but this will be releasing with a few other videos, but I had so much fun making this video. I mean, this was so fun to make. So if you like this, you know... Hit that like button. Subscribe for more backlog content. Uh, check out our the channel's Discord server. Uh, check that out, and check out my other content, like I mentioned in the intro. And check out uh, my second channel, which has nothing on there. But if you subscribe, it'll put a smile on my face. Uh, that is my clips channel for my live streams. But yeah, this was so much fun to make. Uh, have a fantastic day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you all in the next one. Sandwich Boy out.